No, for they are not preachers asking you to give your life to God and thereafter collect offering before boarding your flight. Neither are they students on a rag day ragging you for your spare change before boarding. They are state agbehus. Yes, at the airport in Uyo. I'm bushing you for cash collection. Uyo, Agberu's at the airport. It's no longer news that Uyo, the capital of a Bomb state, is a fast developing town with beautiful scenery, tad road, lovely local delicacies, and beautiful people like me. Is that all there is to a state as a journey through the airport tells a sad tale of fraud prone, unchecked, unchallenged, unautomated cash collection reminiscent of Agberu collection at Motor Park? Apart from the fact that the departure hall of the airport was far from being called a hall, at super crowded, small, with passengers, especially in this period of coronavirus, every traveler through that airport is ambushed to pay 1,500 cash as you are not pre-informed until you're about boarding. It's called airport tax. According to them, the airport being state-owned, the money is meant to maintain the airport. White one is not against them collecting airport taxes as federal airport authorities in Nigeria collect similar levies of 1,000 naira from every passenger, but it's automated. So what happened to automating the collections like fan by adding it upon uh, ticket purchase so the airline can do the remittance? One would have expected that with a governor who rose to becoming an executive director in a bank, no one would dare collect state revenues as cash directly. Even if they do, definitely not at the airport the gateway to the state. But alas, it's happening as I talk, unchecked, unchallenged, and with threat to the passengers, and even impunity. It couldn't be rocket science to automate the collection, would it? Or if the governor is finding it difficult to so do, he can ask his counterpart in Cross River State, who prides himself as digital governor. I laugh in ethic. Or it might just be an intentional avenue for chop. After all, there must be boys, food for boys. A rough calculation of the cash collected with three operating airlines of a bomb air, two flight to Lagos and Abuja, airpiece, two flight to Lagos and Abuja daily, and Dana, one flight each to Lagos and Abuja, would come to an average of one with an average of 120 passengers per flight. And if you multiply that by 1,500 naira, will give you a collection of 1.8 million naira daily and 54 million naira a month of 30 days. And if you're ambitious to so do a further multiplication by 12 months, it comes to 648 million naira per annum, collected in cash, not automated. Why would they kill to serve us? Yet the road from Ikodek Bene to Ukwad Noimo in Ikon, or local government of the state, despite the abundance of natural palm produce that can supply palm oil to the entire south region of Nigeria, is hell on earth. A pregnant woman can't travel on that road, no matter how strong she is. Unfortunately, that's a sad description of most of the roads, interior roads in the state, despite the abundance of oil funds and airport taxes. Who swear for this country, self? I would therefore advocate that rather than get fixated at the center, it is instructive that each of us should sometimes look towards our various state and challenge our governor to do that which they have sworn to do. As our silence toward their misgovernance has turned most of them to emperor, I hear you saying, I wait to put Agba Jalingo for trouble. Despite Jalingo's travail, let's choose to be the voice of reasoning, consistently pricking the conscience of our leader. For if you do your own, and I do my own, Nigeria will go better. And like Evans Ophili will say, I shall soon return to Edo and Delta. I agree with you, Libras, on this one, because I think, you know, um, I hate when people are asking. I, I've been in that situation where I'm sure we all have at some point where they're asking for cash up front, and you're thinking, just. Why should you get to the airport? What if I'm not carrying cash? Then mm. you have to now start looking for it. It becomes your problem at a time when you should just have a seamless flow. Right. The only problem is that I, some people may think they're actually agbarians, but they're dressed in official, you know, the ones I met anyway, they're dressed in official, you know, and it's they're agbaro. busy. <laughs> it's agbaro. It's agbaro agbaro behavior. Uh, but mm. they're not agbaro typical, but they're behaving like agbaro, mm. you know. My only problem is that, you know, even if they do put it in the tax, and they do it the way you're saying, it doesn't still mean they will use it for what, what it's meant. So we still need to follow them up on that because if the roads are not being fixed and you're saying, or the airport is not being renovated and you're saying you're collecting this money for airport renovation and several months down the line the place is dilapidating, then you still need to follow them up and say, this 1,005 that is in my thing, 
what is it being used for? There has to be a way of that follow-up going Yeah, on. I mean, I, I don't even mind paying the 1005 if I can see what where it's going. It. So, like you said, it's really about holding them accountable. Mm. If we are able to do that, I'm sure most of our airports will, will be looking like, you know, something really decent. Something yeah, million. I mean, look yeah. at how much money. I didn't even do I the think, calculation. I think, I, think, I think the money is small. You think it's more than that? I think the money is small. I think we should pay 25 if they were using uh, it yeah, I mean, you mean if they or you're just Seriously? being sarky. I'm not being, no, I'm just, just being real. I think no. it's small. I no, think, but it, I, I obviously think, if they're yeah, using because the airport it needs for it's, the right. It's a state owned yeah, airport, yeah. the airport needs to be, but mm. I think that it should be properly collected. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Um, you know, I, I'm not saying it's just to, as a point of devil's advocacy, but I think that um, very often we, ex, we, 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 we as consumers or as citizens, we, we often think that this money is so huge mm. and therefore that um, we d make certain demands. Mm -hmm. I think we should pay more for some of the services, just like electricity. Yeah, no, I agree. But, but I think the point is that how it's collected, and I think that's Liberos' yes. main yes. ground, yes. Yeah. is that there should be a proper system mm. for how the money is yeah. collected. For every ticket yeah. purchased, every airline ticket purchased, go and check the taxes there are. About yes, I was going to say, what about the taxes? Eight to ten taxes on that ticket. Mm. Half the money on your ticket yes, is in yeah, taxes. Exactly. And, and so, sometimes there was a passenger who didn't have a dime. He, had, at least he, he said, I wasn't told. Even at the yeah. point of collecting your boarding pass, yeah. nobody yeah. will tell you. Yes. Yeah. And then you get me. there, they say, go and collect, go and pay 1,000. For me, I don't have a problem. Yeah, Even if you are going to charge 5,000 yeah. naira. Let it be part of the ticket and yeah. purchase it, so that at the point yeah. of buying the ticket, to be at the point of the ticket, I know that yeah. I have. So paid you pay, you know what you Not when I get to the airport, you collect, and then for me, when you collect it, cash. Yes. Some uh, will go into the pocket of, course, of the man of course, who collected. Some will go into the pocket. So at the end of the day, the money that you say you want to use to renovate or expand the airport, it's not there. It's not there. And More than half of it. the money goes away mm. because nobody can trace yeah. it. Yeah. But if it is collected by the airline, all you need is your, your manifest, manifest. Yeah. and then you do the remittance. Yeah. So it's an, it's an account. Mm, and then yeah. you continue to follow so up on that So I expect a governor so, so, who exactly. had worked in a bank, bank. that is automated, yes. Yes. who is even priding itself as, look, we are automating even paperless uh, uh, banking, yes. to ensure that but these I, you know, things are I think are this not... happened to me at the same uh, you airports. I'm thinking, but I, I'm no, sure I, it will be replicated. It's, it's, it's I'm sure it's happened, not just to you airports. It's happened to me yeah. um, on a number of occasions. But I, I, I'm just saying that, um, I, and I think th th this advocacy is very important mm. because because this kind of ambush and the embarrassment, it caused, we were, you know, my school, old boys, we were, we had a thing in New York, we're leaving, and then suddenly everybody was like, and we had all spent, we didn't exactly. know, hardly, you know, and there was no ATM, working ATM at the airport. Yes. airport so yeah. So it was, it was, you pretty, it was pretty embarrassing mm. for, for a bunch of us that yeah, day. Just uh, and were you able to do a transfer? We, we managed to do a transfer to someone, to one someone of their staff. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, who had uh, okay. Some, yeah, oh, who, right, right, who right, right. said was going to settle them. You with them. Um, so, I, so, I, I so it's really embarrassing. Mm. I think the, this process needs to be. But, it, mm. but this thing is just, you are just an airport is just one example. I think it's. It's time to be replicated across the state. No, no, they used to collect cash even at the international. Mm, airport yeah. until people raise their voices against it so they automated it they still collect 1000 but it's but part it's of your ticket, ticket. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think the reason why they even do this, because I always wonder why all these unofficial channels of collecting money and all that, then I, I start to wonder, or this is just me speculating, like maybe if you're not paying the staff properly, you can't tell them where, you use this to own, make your yeah. own money. It's a bit like, look at uh, Nigerian Passport. Well, they tell us, for sure. they tell, well, we don't know, that's why I said speculating, mm. putting it out there. But look at Nigerian Passport, for instance. They tell us that the price is what, 11,000, right. the of official. Price, right. but yeah. when you, I saw yeah. my file. I saw where yeah. the eleven stopped, and then I saw all the extra added. But the official oh, yeah. amount yeah. is, yeah, yeah. It's about you know, it's, it's about thousand. twenty something. Even something, your driver's yeah. license, go and see how. Yes, exactly. Tell you that they have to pay for their ink, mm. their photocopy machine. They don't give them, mm. so they will justify it. But what they're doing is unofficial funds yeah. are being so tagged. I think on. If, those in, if the authority really was counting on that money, they would automate it. So mm. I think they have written that money off, saying, you know, you lot use it to pay. Find your own way. Yeah. The, 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 for me, you know, you have to create avenue for loose cash. That's mm. what they do. Mm -hmm. Money that is, is you know, unaccounted for. Yeah. You can't go to the bank to take it. Mm. So you say, Emeka, as my guy, you do airport collections. So anytime I need uh, money, I say, Emeka, hey, you know that, uh, how much do you have? Bring. Because that money is not hey. budgeted anywhere. Yeah. It's a security so it's, it's not it's, enough. It's, it's loose cash. It's so money for the boys. I'm yeah. telling you, it's more money for the boys. Yes, no, yes. Because we need to block all these uh, loopholes. Loop yeah. I'm telling you. So, so the governor should hear that uh, 
he's giving out money now to the boys from the advocate, basically. <laughs> yes, and yes. And that he should uh, try and clean We've up. His because that money you can save, but you can but use but it to even yeah. expand the airport. But, but it's yeah. a shame, really, because if he's a and banker, the airport, if he's a banker. And then he has a commissioner for transport, I believe, with him, working with him. Yes. And you know. this sort of situation is actually happening where I can be on a flight and you just trouble me at the end. Then I think that uh, it's not, it's not doing, it, it it's is not very right. sad. Yeah, it's like going to school and not, you know, Benefiting. refusing to it's listen. It's a deliberate exactly. action, though. Yeah. You know, Nigerians, we don't play with money, so we know what we're doing. Mm. Well, um, we'll continue to tackle issues at the ground level. After the break, America has a down-to-earth perspective about our preparedness to take on the coronavirus challenge. I know it will do justice to it. <laughs> 